Well guys, it looks like Mool is back at it again. He's beefing again. If you didn't know, he has a lot of beefs. I actually made two videos about that, but he can't be stopped because now he's going at another rapper that you probably wouldn't expect. And who's that? Well, Little Skies. So I guess I did name this video Little Skies versus Sos Moolah or something like that. So you probably knew, but anyways, why are they beefing? It seems like it comes back to that classic thing again, where somebody is trying to steal the City Morgue scar face tattoo. Now, if you don't know about this, Trippy Red and Sos Moolah actually went back and forth about this previously. The basic idea behind this beef is that that Trippy Red got a scar tattoo that was very reminiscent of City Morgue scar tattoos, which are meant to represent their friend who actually has a scar on their face that looks like that, and he really hated it. So to make him not feel so alone, they also got scar tattoos. When Trippy came out and got the exact same scar tattoo, this other rapper ended up calling out him, and then Zilla and Sos Mula got on it, but eventually they were able to straighten it out. Trippy said his scar tattoo was supposed to be dedicated to his dead brother, and at that point, you can't really say a whole lot more because you look bad if you're going to be dissing a man whose brother died and he's trying to pay respects to him even though a lot of people don't believe that's true. And eventually, so Moonlight and Trippy Red made up, and that's basically all that happened. Now Little Skies has gone and done the exact same thing, posting pictures, showing off his new scar tattoo. And we can't even argue here, it's red. Like, it's basically the same tattoo that Sos Moolah has. Same color, same everything. I mean, yeah, it's a little bit longer, and overall, it looks terrible. I'm not gonna lie, it really doesn't look good. I don't think Little Skies should have done that. I love Little Skies, I love Sos Moolah, but wow. That tattoo really only looks good for certain people, and Sos Moolah is one of them, and Little Skies definitely isn't. And he even has his hair braided in the same way as Sos Mula, so there's no way that Mula wasn't going to take notice, commenting, it looks like you took my scar tattoo idea, little bro. For them posting on his story saying nipples want to be like big sleeves so bad, with a bunch of laughing emojis, and then of course reposting Lil Sky's picture. Post this saying 2018, little bro, don't die over no dumb shit, and basically he's proving that he got the scar tattoo as far back as 2018, and six years later, Lil Skies is trying to rip it off. Then he posts this video where he absolutely tears into Lil Skies, saying that he tried to message him at one point, a whole lot of crazy shit, so I'm just gonna show you that. You know, it's so crazy though. Like, y'all niggas is so unoriginal. <laughs> like, this shit corny as fuck. Like, I would never ever get the same face tat as a nigga. Like, that, that, that's just, that shit is gay. Like, y'all niggas, like, I understand y'all niggas copying clothes and shit. Like, cause y'all niggas is all unoriginal. Y'all been copying me and Zilla. Y'all do every y'all do everything we do. Everything the morgue do, y'all niggas do. You know what I'm saying? But like, damn little bro, you the same nigga to DM me and unsent it, bro. Like, you the same nigga to DM me and unsent it, little bro. Like Y'all niggas is corny. Corny little kids. And if you feel some type of way, I'm really, really tripping like that in real life. Nigga on a gang, nigga on a set, nigga. I'm really, really tripping like that, nigga. Real life, nigga. Suck my dick, nigga. I know you watching, baby. And I'm not gonna lie, if I didn't know any better, I would think that Sos Mula actually paid Lil Skies to get this face tattoo, because Sleeves Religion is coming out very soon, and this couldn't be better promo for both of them. Yeah, for now, that's basically it. Sos Mula is trying to provoke Lil Skies into a back and forth, but seeing how Lil Skies is, I doubt he's gonna say anything to Sos Mula. He's probably gonna get some album promo off this. More people are gonna pay attention to Sleeves Religion. And honestly, this is kind of a win-win for Sos Mula, because he gets to call out Lil Skies, who's kind of a bigger rapper than him. I guess they're kind of on the same level, and he's getting attention around his album, so win-win. But there's one detail that he mentioned that is very interesting to me. That he said he got his scar tattoo in 2018. Now, why is that relevant at all? Well, if you see my iceberg on City Morgue, you know there's quite a bit of contention about Sos Mula not being the age he says he is. Pretty much everybody agrees the dude was born in 1988, but over and over again he said he's born in 1994, and he even showed this ID to finally shut down all rumors that he was faking his age. But now that we have this information, it kind of changes everything. Because like I said in that video, he has the scar tattoo. To. And if you look at the date on this ID, it says 2016. But in the other story, he says he got it in 2018. So either this ID is fake or he's just lying about getting the scar tattoo in 2018. But there's actually a lot of proof that what he's saying in that story is true. Because if you look back in 2016 during the Shimigani music video, which Sos Mula is featured in, no face tattoo. Okay, but maybe he got it later on. Well, let's look at some pictures during the Hellsing, you know, yokai era. And once again, no face tattoo, none whatsoever. It doesn't mean that he didn't get it in 2016, right? Because I guess there was the whole City Morgue era after that. Maybe he got in very late 2016. But if you look at City Morgue when they first started, even in that first song, Go, and you look at the cover art, once again, 
no face tattoos. There's one, but not the scar one. And I mean, come on, if you look at Shinner's 13 and 33rd Black Street, he doesn't have the face tattoo in either of those either. He only first has that face tattoo in Skatehead. When did that video come out again? May of 2018. So yeah, it pretty well all adds up. I mean, we already pretty well knew that ID was fake, but now that Sos Mula has confirmed he got the scar tattoo in 2018 because of this Lil Skies drama, we now know that ID is fake. But there's even more than that. Because maybe you're not convinced just by what I'm saying. Who cares if the ID is fake? It doesn't mean that he's lying about his age. Well, I actually found another YouTuber who has a lot more evidence about this subject who's going to tell you all of his stuff that he found, proving that Sos Mula is not the age he's claiming to be. Without further ado, take it away. Sup, this is Suffocate Me here to weigh in on this topic. Reason being, I recently helped this creator out with another video and I figured I'd help out a little bit on this one as well because this was actually a video I was considering making myself about a year or two ago. There are many reasons to verify why Mula's age is actually factually in 1988 and not 1994 as he tries to push so hard. And I really want to stress, do not take this as hating on him at all or making fun of him, being like, Haha, the dude likes to pretend he's in his 20s, but he's actually in his mid-30s. This isn't like that at all. This is just fan stuff because it's actually such a big topic in the community for City Morgue fans to really debate on what age he actually is. So this is kind of a video just to put that to rest more than anything. It has nothing to do with like dislike for his music. Me personally, I'm a huge fan. I love Mula. So yeah, I just wanted to clear that before talking about this. That's the only reason why this video even exists in the first place. It's just to clear the air and try to, you know, get down to the bottom of it because since the rap group essentially got together, like people have been trying to figure out what his age really is. Alright, so first thing I personally really noticed that put me off and made me feel that something wasn't right was that if you dig into Moolah's past and see early videos that he released in 2011 and 2012 when he went by the name Vinny Sosa, you will see Moolah clearly sporting a neck tattoo and a full arm sleeve. I want to say it's pretty obvious when you watch these videos that this isn't a guy who was 17 years old. Tattoos aside, even when you're looking at him in these videos, you can tell it's a dude at least in his mid-20s. I mean like, Come on now, bro. These music videos are for songs like Glass House, Know About It, and She's Strippin', all of which show that Moolah is already very inked up and were released in 2011 and 2012. Funny enough, Glass House actually shows him getting tattooed in this video with lyrics directly referencing his number of tattoos as well. Also, I would have included the video here for She's Strippin', but it looks like that got taken down recently for nudity. I saw that video a year or two ago, so it's odd to me how that video was already like a decade old and finally got deleted recently, but whatever. Aside from his arrest record clearly showing he was born in 1988, I also want to say there's websites like Metal Archives, which verify he was also born in April 1988. And besides that, there's actually been affiliates of him or should I say past affiliates that actually verified he was in his 30s like a couple years ago. I know like with the fake age he's given now, he would be turning 30 this year, but this happened years ago. And of course, what I'm referring to is the beef that happened with Squid Nice back in 2020. In one of the videos that Squid Nice made about him, he even references the fact that he was over 30. You are a whole female posting DMs that you did unsense your own messages and you're over 30 years old. Come on, man. After all that, what do you think? Do you still think that Sos Mula is lying about his age? Do you think he's being truthful? What do you think about this beef between Lil Skies and Sos Mula? Do you even care about this subject? I mean, I'm not trying to expose Sos Mula. I don't really care if he's lying about his age. I just think it's kind of funny that he keeps doing it when it's so easy to disprove. But I think we just all as fans need to come around Sos Mula. I'll give him a hug and say, you know what, buddy? It's okay. You don't got to lie about your age anymore. We accept you no matter what. We can all hold hands, circle around, and sing Slee's religion because we love so is Mula. But yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Got that second channel, Twisted Society. I post interviews and music. So if you want anything on there, mostly music though, I'm not really doing interviews right now, sure to hit me up. But besides that, subscribe to the channel. We're almost to 10,000. We're almost there. And finally, bye.